Here it is, my last pineapple of the season. Now, I've been out here for a good couple of hours doing a tremendous amount, and I mean a massive amount of weeding, because I have admittedly just kind of let this patch of pineapples grow. Um, I haven't really tended to this, well, since I moved into the house, really, but I think it's been about a year or two that I haven't even really pruned or organized or weeded or done anything. Now, my time out here with these uh, has given me some observations. And, you know, this is just intuition and, you know, observation talking. But I have noticed a couple of things. Over here are where my thickest, luscious, biggest pineapple plants are. And they do... There's a pretty obvious taper as you go along to the smallest plant. And consequently, I got my biggest pineapples from over there and my smallest ones from over here. Now, what's interesting about that is directly above us is tree and then no tree. So what this tells me is that the ones on this end are getting more nutrients than the one on that end. And the tree comes into play. And I will show you where is my example. Let's walk around. Pineapple plants. <clears throat> Pineapple plants are bromeliads, which means they, well, which means that they don't get their nutrients from the soil, they actually collect them at their leaves. That's why these leaves are cup-shaped and sort of flow directly to the middle of the plant. If you look at this, you'll see the purpose of that. All of these leaves and uh, twigs and detritus that fall from the tree collect against the plant. They decay and get soaked up by the plant as fertilizer. That is how bromeliads eat, essentially. So the ones that have gotten the most nutrients, the most leaves having fallen on them, and yeah, you can tell in here if I get in close, they've been fed the best. Coming down to the ones that would not be getting any leaves very much, and this plant is barely even alive. So that tells me that a healthy diet of crushed up dead leaves, or something with similar nutrients, spread onto the plants is going to give me a really good crop, really good results. Now, some other things that I've noticed. I did not plant, well, I didn't plant these at all, but I did not purposefully put the pineapples this close together. Take this one for instance. I spaced them out about yay far. However, the plant that was here had already produced fruit the year before. What I had been doing was, when a plant produced fruit, because bromeliads only bloom once in their lifetime, I would dig it up, separate the suckers, which we'll get into that in a moment, off of the plant, replant them, and then you know, space them out. Down here, we have two pineapple plants that are almost right on top of each other. And if you look down here, this little stalk is all that remains of the plant that once bore fruit. You can see, actually, the root system down here. They're practically conjoined, and this one is off at an angle. That's because, even though bromeliads only bloom once, they send off offshoots and what are called suckers that can create a new plant, which can, of course, bloom again. Let's see if I can find a good example of this. Gosh, I just had one. There it is. So this is a plant that bore fruit this year. The stalk where the pineapple was, the pineapple fruit, is here. 
but you can see off to the side, it looks like a whole new plant blooming in this crook. That is a sucker. That is sort of an offshoot of the original bromeliad plant. This part, because it's already borne fruit, will die, and this one will grow in its place and bear new fruit in about two years. That is what has happened multiple times over here, and that's why a lot of these plants are so close together. Here's... Ow, God. Um, by the way, these things are sharp. Here's another one here where we bore fruit over here, and there's a sucker over here ready to spring up in its place. So what I failed to do last year was properly prune these back and space them out and dig them up and blah, blah, blah. That I will do again this year, hopefully, but hopefully before it turns too cold. Otherwise, I don't think they'll root properly. But yeah, this is, uh, this is my fault for not tending to my crop. But there you have it.